Heavily armed bandits hiding alongside an isolated road in the rugged open country near Albuquerque, waiting to ambush a Wells Fargo cash shipment. The thieves are not only determined to get the money, they're also determined to kill the guards protecting it. This is not a Hollywood script, it is a true story. And on tonight's special assignment, Dean Staley reports it is still causing pain and frustration. Here we go. In the late 1800s, Wells Fargo stagecoaches plied the American West. Armed men moving precious cargo across vast, wide open country, teeming with bandits. 18 years ago, on a remote highway south of Albuquerque, the bandits were back. You had a Wells Fargo vehicle loaded with cash coming down this desolate highway. Someone's laying on wait for it. They ambushed the guards. There's a shootout. It was a hot summer morning in August 1994. The Wells Fargo driver that morning was 28 year old Jeff Ulcher of Rio Rancho, riding shotgun in the passenger seat, 68 year old Chuck Mills. Mills and Ulcher were driving their regular armored car route, but on this desolate stretch of highway, with $100,000 in cash, they were especially vulnerable. That's because on this day, their armored car was in the shop, and they were driving an ordinary rental van. Midway between Los Lunas and I-40 on New Mexico Highway 6, two men lay quietly by the side of the road. And the shooter was laying in the bed of the pickup truck with an uh, assault-type rifle. Just waiting. Just waiting. It was, as this van gets close, light it up. Kill these guys and get the money. The first shots killed Ulcher instantly. The van skidded to a stop by the side of the road. More than 40 high powered rifle rounds tore into the van. Armed with just a six shooter, Mills began blasting back. He was tucking down behind the dashboard and up and down, and as he's taking fire, and he was taking a lot of fire, a lot of rounds coming at him from an assault rifle, and he would just pop up and put some more rounds through his own windshield back at uh, the people that are ambushing him. Mills squeezes off six shots, then reloads and fires six more. It is enough to make the bandits reconsider the plan. They take off without the money. John Shum investigated the case for the FBI. It's always bothered me. I've always thought about this uh, because, because of the victim left behind two kids and a young wife. Uh, because he was killed in such, such a ruthless manner, you know, just it was a cold-blooded uh, ambush. He was a fantastic guy, wonderful with his kids. April Lowe is the mother of Jeff Ulcher's two children. She was left to take care of three-year-old Ray Lynn and two-year-old Scott. First, it makes you angry, and then you get. I would just like to have some answers for the kids. Today, those kids are 20 years old. They're just 10 months apart and still live in the Rio Rancho area. When he came home from work, that's how we used to do. Daddy's here, daddy's here, and we just tackle him. So that's about all I remember. Scott is the spitting image of a father he does not remember. I think about him every single day. Um, think about how different my life would be, you know, what kind of person I'd be if he was still there. The way his father died haunts him. First question would be why? I mean, why did he have to die? Why couldn't you just, why'd you have to kill him? You know, I grew up without a real stable father because of this. Agent Shum initially suspected the robbery was an inside job, but found no evidence to support that. Despite a meticulous investigation and a cash reward put up by Wells Fargo, Shum, now retired from the FBI, never found the answers to those questions. No solid leads, no suspects, nothing. The two men, described as Indian or Hispanic, and their dark colored pickup truck simply vanished. This stayed at the forefront uh, of one that bothered me because he was a young guy just starting out in life. He was a good guy. Now the FBI is hoping for a break. Maybe someone out there heard something once from an ex boyfriend or a family member, something that could crack this case wide open. We're just hoping. That they can uh, they can think about this and, and maybe now it's time to come forward. The FBI are not the only ones. It's years after this has happened, and I would like some closure. It's not just us. Jeff had 
tons of family that loved him and cared for him. On special assignment, Dean Staley, KRQE News 13. The FBI is still offering a $20,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest for whoever is responsible for Jeff Ulcher's death. Information on how to contact the FBI for this case can be found at krqe.com. By the way, we tried to find the guard, Chuck Mills, who shot it out with the bandits that day, but we were not able to locate him.